Welcome to the Optil Herbicide Information Module. The innovative chemistry that packs field envy in every box. In glyphosate-tolerant soybeans, Optil is very effective on both broadleaf and grassy weeds. Optil also provides a rapid burn down, allowing you to plant your crop earlier. And its extended residual activity creates more flexibility for your in-crop herbicide application. So your fields start clean and stay clean, maximizing your crop's yield potential. Optil utilizes two modes of action, Group 14 and Group 2 chemistry, making it an excellent tool for managing resistant weeds. It comes in a convenient, dry, low-use rate formulation of Kixor herbicide, plus the active ingredient imazethapir. And Optil is designed for both no-till and minimum-till production. Use Optil, and you may have to explain your higher yields to your neighbors, assuming they're still talking to you. Optil provides exceptional control of the weeds that can rob soybeans of yield during the crucial early stages of development, including dandelion, shepherd's purse, as well as glyphosate-resistant Canada fleabane. Here's how Optil and another Kixor-based herbicide, Aragon, stack up against glyphosate alone on a range of broadleaf weeds. Optil herbicide, tank mixed with glyphosate, provides the weed control you need to get your crop off to a great start and maximize yield. Watch how Optil performs on key weeds versus Guardian, glyphosate, and an untreated check in the following video. Now, let's hear from some growers and retailers about their experience with Optil. Hi, my name is Jeff Barlow. I farm with my father in York, Ontario. This year we used Optil pre-emerge as a burn down in my Roundup Ready soybean crop. We did notice that it was a lot faster burn down, it was quicker to kill the weeds than it was with the straight glyphosate. The quick burn down was important because we were very pushed for time this spring. It made me feel better when we got to the field two days after we sprayed it to plant, uh, that some of those weeds were already starting to change color, so they were starting to die, so that the soybeans came up in an environment that was weed free. Well, I think it's very important to have a top up with glyphosate. It's gonna help us continue to use glyphosate into the future. I think if we uh, don't pay attention to resistance management, that at some point we're not going to be able to use glyphosate. I would certainly use Optil again, especially in certain fields that have higher weed pressures, grasses particularly, uh, that would give me a longer residual time before I had to go back in for my first in-crop spray. I'm Carl Anderson, I live at Millbrook, Ontario. We're asked if we would uh, be involved in an Optil trial, on, and we had a 40 acre field that had a bad infestation of dandelions, so we used two liters of glyphosate along with the Optil, and on the other side we used just two liters of glyphosate straight. And on the Optil side, the dandelions within two to three days were burnt off, turning brown, turning black. But on the other side, they kept on growing, they didn't back off for, for near two weeks. With the residual, we had good control later on within that four to six weeks range. We had some vets in the field, which is quite hard to kill, and it took care of that nicely. When we used the Optil, and the field was nice and clean, we do our own combining, and it's always a treat to combine a clean field. You have a clean sample in the bin, and the Optil was the biggest part of taking care of that. On the Optil side, uh, when we were done combining, we ended up with a seven bushel per acre increase. I would recommend Optil to anybody in my area and we will definitely use it again. 
I'm Dave Barkley out of Agri Partners in Winchester, which is just south of Ottawa, Dundas County. We got a chance to spray four or 500 acres of opt-till this spring. Had some tough field conditions with a lot of dandelions, some tough perennial weeds, so the fields needed to be sprayed early. It was a real advantage to us this year to be able to go in and get a fast burn down on those soybean fields, but have residual uh, carrying on out so we could do a late final pass of glyphosate. One of the pluses of using uh, Opt-Till is that you're starting with a clean field and have good residual to have low weed pressure throughout the season. And when I do that, I've done everything I can do to have the maximum yield possible. Opt-Till comes in at a price point that's easy to justify its use in the field and you're getting a lot of bang for your dollar. When you look at the conditions we had this year in the field, we had better than a month on some tiled rain fields that we couldn't put high boys in the field. It rained that much and uh, the Opt-Till sprayed fields with the residual involved it meant that we didn't have to win and make ruts in the field we were able to wait until it was dry enough to go and spray the second pass. Opt-Till is a great tool I definitely recommend it to other growers it's a fit in a lot of operations. BSF has really supported my customers and my business they have a really broad portfolio a lot of different modes of action and we use a lot of their products. In summary Optil provides control of both broadleaf and grassy weeds. The benefits of both a rapid burn down and residual activity. It brings multiple modes of action to help with resistance management. And it keeps fields clean to maximize yield. The time is now to try Optil on your farm because nothing makes neighbors more envious than a great looking and producing field. Thanks for watching this module and learning more about the benefits of Optil herbicide for glyphosate tolerant soybeans.